What's going on guys, it's your boy The Cash Critic and welcome back to another New World video where we're actually going to be discussing the new update that's going to be going live as you can see from my screen is the Spring Tide Bloom event taking place from April 26th through May 23rd so pretty much technically about one whole month so we're just going to go over the rewards what the event's all about we're actually going to be skipping over the lore section of this but as always guys i'm gonna go ahead and drop the link of this actual article that the devs just released on their website in the description down below so feel free to go ahead and click on it if you want to read the lore section specifically or just read it over your own kind of time as well now before we just jump into it as always guys be sure to hit that like hit that subscribe button down below and of course share this with a friend guys we're so close to 300 subscribers so be sure to hit that subscribe button so that way you can go ahead and actually participate for the 300th subscriber giveaway now without further ado let's just jump right into it as this was released today and as you can see here greeting adventurers the time of awakening has arrived spring tide bloom calls its children to share an ancient secret capable of granting true freedom help the enigmatic bloom herald unravel the mysteries of the ethereal wispy bloom on april 26th through may 23rd and collect spring tides fertile bounty of event specific rewards harvest with caution as swarms of vile wispy wasps guard the blooms with fury so truth seekers must be level 20 or higher to embark upon the quest for the enlightenment spring tide villages are located in monarch's bluff everfall brightwood and weaver's fen so this is kind of just like you know pretty much the same just as the previous you know winter convergence event um as well with having like those kind of villages where you can go ahead and cash in tokens or your rewards for specific items for the specific world event as well so just keep that in mind now here's the lore section that we're going to be skipping over but for the rewards so earn a variety of rewards through spring tide centerpieces party bags uh prisma bloom harvest and the event shop which of course nothing new to us we've seen this happen in the past as well so every settlement will feature an ornately decorated spring tide centerpiece surrounded by a pile of colorful gift baskets each centerpiece can be looted once per day for the following rewards so you can get di diamond gypsum drop rate is 100 percent. you must be a level 60 in order to get it the limit is six per day uh one to three wispy spritz drop rate 100 percent. 25 event reputation drop rate a hundred percent players also have a chance to receive the following rewards one to five additional wispy spritz the drop rate is as well 100 percent one to three dies the drop rate is 66 percent one spring tide dram which the drop rate is 33 percent and it also temporarily increases your luck now you also have one spring tide waffer the drop rate is 22 percent it temporarily increases the number of wispy blooms that the players can actually harvest and then one spring tide crumble and the drop rate is actually 11 percent temporarily increases your constitution so your health right now for the spring tide party bags specifically located at the center of each spring tide village is a pile of party bags ripe for the taking from all who celebrate this festive season now each village party bag pile can be looted once per day there are four party bag piles in the world these reset at 5 a.m local time for example if a player receives a fourth spring tide token from the party bags at 4 58 a.m they will be able to get another at 501 a.m local time so spring tide token the drop rate is 100 percent spring tide pattern the drop rate is 1.3 percent which is very low so keep that in mind as well spring tide coin bag the drop rate is 100 percent and the 50 event reputation drop rate is 100 percent as well so you can tell already from a lot of these rewards the drop rate for them are almost all, every single one at 100 percent so it should be fairly easy with the exception of a few now for the spring tide um prisma bloom harvest when players harvest prisma blooms throughout a turnum, they will have a chance at special rewards in addition to the normal uh prisma bloom resources so spring tide token drop rate 75 percent limit 10 per day from the prisma blooms premium spring tide tokens the drop rate is five percent and the limit is one per day as well now event shop rewards right so this is the shop that you can actually go cash in your rewards and you know get the actual items that you would like whether it's cosmetics or just armor itself or furniture right so the following rewards can be purchased from the bloom herald in exchange for spring tide tokens or premium spring tide tokens so it's almost the same exact thing watch out for my guide once this officially releases as well you know my straight to the point guides 
for this actual world event, kind of the same exact kind of motion as the winter convergence event that happened back in 2022 of this winter, right? So uh, gain event reputation to rank up and increase the event shop selection. So rank one rewards, consumables, five springtide tokens each. You'll be able to actually acquire springtide dram, temporarily increases the luck. Springtide waffer, temporarily increases the number of wispy blooms that the player can harvest. Springtide crumble, temporarily increases your constitution. For rank two rewards, dies, 10 springtide tokens each. You get a uh, lemon sejo die, the royal azalea die, and the morning mist die. Light armor patterns, so this is 15 springtide tokens each. You get the blooming hair of Iraq, blooming shirt of Iraq, blooming claws of Iraq, blooming skirt of Iraq, and then the blooming shoes of Iraq as well. And for the medium armor patterns, 15 springtide tokens each as well is the blooming mask of Iraq, blooming coat of Iraq, blooming gloves of Iraq. Blooming Kulitz of Iraq and the Blooming Boots of Iraq. And for the heavy armor patterns, as well as 15 Springtide tokens, you get the Blooming Helm of Iraq, Blooming Breastplate of Iraq, Blooming Gauntlets of Iraq, Blooming Leg Guards of Iraq, and the Blooming Sabatons of Iraq as well. Now for rank 3 rewards, we get the Viridian Attire Set. So the cost is 5 premium tokens, Springtide tokens. The Springtide Beekeeper attire set, the cost is 10 premium springtide tokens. For emotes, 5 premium springtide tokens each. You'll be able to acquire the springtide flower child and the Jovile frolic as well. Now for housing items such as furniture, the cost is 1 premium springtide token each. You get a barrel of flowers, crate of flowers, pot of wispy blooms, pinwheel. You'll be able to acquire springtide wall light, springtide ceiling light as well. And now for the cost of two premium springtide tokens each, you'll be able to additionally get springtide banner, sacks of pigment as well. Now for light armor patterns, 600 gear score is one premium springtide token each. So you'll be able to get the blooming hair of Aeroc, blooming shirt of Aeroc, blooming claws of Aeroc, blooming skirt of Aeroc, and the blooming shoes of Aeroc. And these are pretty much the same exact ones that we actually just went over just for the gear score of 600. So just keep that in mind as well. And the Springtide Bloom attire set, the cost is 10 premium Springtide Bloom tokens. And as they stated, thanks for your support. We'll see you in the Springtide Villages. Now, obviously, this is going to be releasing in just about seven days from this recording since today, since it was released. Expect patch notes. So we'll be going over the patch notes once they do officially release. Most likely, they'll notify us on April 25th. So be on the lookout for those patch notes. And as always, guys, let me know in the comments down below on what you think about the spring event. It looks like it's pretty much, you know, the same repetitive kind of event that we have on a seasonal basis, unfortunately. But I'm still either way excited for the rewards and excited to grind it out. Because as of right now, I feel as though we do have a ton of our plate, right, with season pass. Uh, we have the new expedition and now we have the world event as well. And then obviously the Corrupted Rabbit event that's going on right now that will be ending fairly shortly right after this actually releases. So as always, guys, it's your boy, The Cash Critic. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys can tune into more videos right now. Peace.